Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to talk to you about the Clarisonic Mia 2. Now I have had this for a year. Now, I just wanted to give you an update. Yes, I have replaced the brush. Yes, it is super easy to charge. It's just like a magnet, it clicks, it sticks, it's great. And there's not really much to say about it. <laughs> I still use it, I still love it, and I've had it for a year and it's still going. Now, the only thing, the downside to it is, now I've had this for a year, you can see my unboxing video if you want it, if I won't remember, you'll find it on my channel. This is gross, what I'm about to show you. So when you wash your face and you rinse your brush, things get stuck and you get like this excess of soap. I'm just going to put that back. It's disgusting. So you do have to make sure that you thoroughly clean it. It also gets stuck behind the brush, the little clips behind it that holds it in place. Other than that, it doesn't get rid of spots and blackheads I have found. It cleans your skin to the point that I feel like it brings your blackheads out. You can then pop them, get rid of them, and they're gone. But it doesn't... I don't feel like it removes... Like, it won't literally, like you do it along your nose it doesn't dig in and get all the blackhead out i find though that the ones you've got the pores on your nose that it doesn't matter how many times you empty them they're still there but then you get the ones on your face that you find that pop up and as soon as they lump you're like, oh, i can squeeze that and then it's kind of gone they don't tend to come back this is what that brush does it kind of like scrubs and scrubs and scrubs until they come out and you can just squeeze and they're gone now once again, I've had this for a year and I still use it and I still love it. And yes, it was expensive, but I feel like as I still use it, it's been quite a good investment. I don't recommend taking your makeup off with it. So for instance, me today, I have my brows and I have my eyeliner done, things like that. I would not go in with this straight away and start scrubbing. One, because it will get your makeup everywhere and it will stain the brush. And the brush is a nightmare to clean if it's full of mascara, eyeliner, and <laughs> eyebrow products. It's a nightmare. Red lipstick is a nightmare. But if you was to just to get a face wipe, take off your makeup as much as you could, and then clean with this, wow. I love it so much. And I just thought it deserved an update. Now, I've had it for so long. There is a bristle falling out, but I can live with it. I can live with it. So yes, I just wanted to basically tell you about it today. And I believe I got this when it was on offer at £90. The brush heads aren't cheap. They're about £30 for two, I believe. Was it? I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I brought that much stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I just really wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about it. And that is what I love about it. And obviously the cons is it doesn't clean very well because there's a, because there's a lip on the inside because there's like a drop you kind of push it you, your water will go in and like bring it out but there's no power to bring it out so it doesn't clean in all the gaps so you do have to pull it to pieces to clean it but other than that i love it i love the fact it's timed so it's got a little light indicator on it as well and it is so soft you can make it firmer i love it so you clean your forehead first and then it will make a noise. There it was. Then you go down to clean your nose and your chin and your mouth and basically this whole area. And this will go for, I think it's 30 seconds. I'm sure your forehead was 30, then this is 30. And then it will make another noise. This sounds so wrong. You know people in my house are like, what the hell? Then you clean your cheeks, so your eyes. It's also really good for wrinkles, I have been quite, I've been told. So then you do under your eye, around your cheek, jaw like, well your jaw. Then it beats again, then you go on to the other side. Now, I love this thing. Uh, sometimes I feel like the cheeks are quite a large area and it's such a small space of time. But other than that, I love it. I love just sitting in the bath, scrubbing my whole face. And then just rinse in, and you just feel so clean, like so clean. I love it. It was definitely a really good investment for me, and I'm so glad I purchased it. Um, go check them out. I only bought the Mia because it was pink because I'm a girl. <laughs> like literally, I'm a right girl. I I'd have my whole house in pink, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that. So <laughs> not like bright pink, like nice pinks. But anyway, 
If you be my toothbrush is pink, it's over there charging now and it's flashing looking at me and that's pink and my diary's pink and my bag's pink and my labels are pink and oh god this pink stuff bit, I just, it's pink. So, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this update. I will do another one in a year's time, not to basically talk you through it again, but just to see if I do still own this and if I do still use this because for the money you pay, you've got to use them and that is basically what this video is about so i'd like to thank you for watching take care if you do like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up check out the unboxing video of this if you haven't already seen it i'm not going to say i'm going to link it below because i'll probably forget but if i do i do if i don't you'll find it it's in my channel somewhere just type clara sonic in if you'd like to, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. That would be fantastic. Click over in the top corner to check out one of my latest videos and click over in the bottom corner to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. I'd like to thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. And bye-bye.